โอเคสไตล์ของគ្នាสําหรับมวยนี้ก็ต่อ median បន្ទោប non median នេះគឺយើងតាមពិតមេរៀននេះជាមេរៀនលីសនីងទេប៉ុន្តែទីជាប់ Chia sẻ thêm mùi đã kết tay nơi kung nạy ti mùi nâng ti bay chung yên tay tập rin nát bì nâng ok môn yên tay rin median mân tay yên mùi nâng môn yên rin bàn nâng kla yên rin vocabulary yên we learn some words such as champion professional challenge position self discipline different and tournament chúng những đấng mà giờ ngọt trên từ mưa lăng vĩnh thời bị ba thay dương mà anh chép biết ngon nấy dương trăm cặp trăm dùng này bảo vía cặp 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 bảo vía hỏi hỏi mỗi tiết dương mà đi làm pi uh, grammar mà nhá grammar này cứ we learn of future progressive mình chăng á ok next như cứ chia rụp phim này mày nhận bảo dương cứ dương từ dương từ tầm phổ thì phần mà nó khởi nhá tầm phổ thì hà phần pi you need to carry the side chẳng dựng khơi như dựng vì là mình ảnh tập bọt án thì vì mình ta chẳng mất to fall thì mà đồng chẳng dựng trợ án vì là thuần ai tớ dựng án là xong nguồn tìm tốc rô nơi không online test dựng nâng khơi ảnh tập bọt án nâng ai hay dựng chẳng dựng xong nguồn tập bọt án nâng ok lấy xong nguồn xua tu tớ mùi how many people are there in a football team including the goalkeeper how many people 10, 11, or 12? Uh, I think all of you know the answer exactly. I mean, all of you are very familiar with um, football. So the answer is, you can tell by yourself, okay. Uh, before we go to the next part, um, I want you to read this these six statements and think in your head in your brain that you just guess it which statement is true and which one is false example Nisai joined the Cambodian army first football team when he was 16 so you think it is true or false you just think it first and or you may do it in your notebook or in your textbook you can tick and cross whatever you want just to prepare for the online test number two later he was selected as the best under 19 football player so do you think it is true or false uh, you can read it in your textbook on page 57 and you can read and then do it first Make sure that you have done it before you go to online test because the online test questions will be the same. And okay, just like other lessons we have we previously studied, we always begin with uh, vocabulary because vocabulary is very important for you as a second language learner or or as a, a foreign language learner so it's very important the first question is compete you can see the phonetic symbol here ka um come pit where is the stress is on the second compete 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 okay what does it mean compete you don't need to you don't need me to help you to translate in Khmer actually you can do it by yourself if you don't know or you don't understand the definition you can see the translation in cambodian or in Khmer language okay uh, compete mean to try to be more successful than someone or something else 
to try to be more successful than someone or something else. Look at these people, they are competing each other to run. I think maybe they are compete, uh, they are joining a, a running competition. I think, example, it's difficult for a small shop to compete against with or against or with the big supermarkets. You see, it is difficult for a small shop, very small shop to compete to win. Example, Again, the big supermarkets, example, you have a small shop and you want your shop to be more popular, to be, to have more uh, customer than big supermarkets. So it is difficult. Both girls compete for their father attention. Example, um, a family, they have two daughters, or they can say both uh, two girls. And those two girls try to draw attention from the their father. I mean that they want the father to pay attention to them, to take care of them. So they compete each other for the father attention. I mean they want each of them want to to have more and more as example here to be more and more attention from father. Okay, so compete. If you don't understand the definition, um, you can go to your dictionary on the phone or whatever and you can check the translation in Cambodian language okay um golf keeper uh golf keeper so the stress is on the first syllable golf keeper golf keeper is a person or the player who stand in the team goals to try to stop the other team from the scoring or we can say it's a person in a football team who who stand in the goal to catch the ball when it is shooted example okay so example for a goalkeeper it is a great advantage to have big hands you know big hands you have two hands so if you want to be a goalkeeper you if you have big hands it is good why because you can catch the ball effectively or you can catch the ball better than the, those who has a small hands the crowd cheers as the goalkeeper deflected the shot okay see the crowd mean a lot of people a group of people hundreds of people cheer concrete as the goalkeeper deflected the shot I mean when the the ball fly fly to him he can deflect it so the ball is not going into the, the goal. Okay. So another word is why you know why I always um, select the photo from football because um, our unit is related to football. So I just actually the word injury, 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 e, no, injury, injury. You stress on the first syllable in injury. Injury is similar to word wound, but it's a physical harm, you know, harm or damage to someone's body. Example here, the man, he has injury on his knee. See, injury caused by accident or an attack. Yeah, um, usually it it's always happen um, in the football match. A head or back or knee injury. Simple. This is a knee injury. If you if you had an accident on your head on your into your head, you can say it's a head injury. If you fall down and you help you hurt your back, it is a back injury. Several train passenger received serious injuries in the crash. Several train passengers received serious injury. Serious injury mean the injury that very very bad. Maybe you need to go to doctor. It cannot be cured at the place. Okay, uh, another word is match. Actually, it's T. This one, eh? T T T match. Look at see here. Match. Match has several meanings in English. Can can be an yeah. It is a noun, but it has some something to do with fire. And but this one is not. It is about football match. Volleyball match. It's is a kind of is a um, match can we can say it's 
the synonym of match is competition. Competition. So this is a sport competition or event which two people or team compete against each other. So match is an event that people compete each other. For example, a tennis match. This is a football match. A football match. A cricket match. Whatever match. Okay, and another word is regulation. 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 An official rule or the act of controlling something. You can say regulation is the rule that is set for you to be followed. For example, the law, the order is a regulation. So we have here um, safety regulation. If you want to have make sure that everybody is safe, you have a safety regulation. Um, Hal regulation. Traffic regulation, fire regulation, security regulation mean all the rules, the laws, and the correct procedure is laid down on the rules and regulation. Okay. Ah, not another word is verb is kind of we we call we we say it sprain. There is no stress because it's only one syllable. Strain. Sorry, sprain, sprain to cause an injury to a joint a joint is a, is a sprained usually it's happen when you when you play football when you run it's a sprain it usually happen on your your ankle your wrist and yeah you can check it in comma in your dictionary if you don't understand this definition she sprained her ankle playing squash see when she plays she plays squash she sprained her ankle. He stumped and sprained a knee. Okay, sprained a knee means it kind of likely happened in the knee. One more word. Look at these two eyes. Wow, what's that? Steer. Steer means to look, but for a long time. When you look someone with the big eyes for a long time, they call steer. Example to look for someone with eye wide open. Open your eye big big sample big eye. So especially when it's a pride of frighten or thinking. So when you want to frighten the kids, you always look at them like this. And don't stay at people like that. It's rude. See? Don't stay at people like that. It's rude. Example when you see someone that you don't know and then you try to stay at them, it's rude because it's not polite. Is root okay? Uh, so that's it for the words we we uh, we have learned today. And so now it's your work. So what are you going to do for the lessons? This lesson you are going to go to book your textbooks on page fifty eight and fifty nines or fifty sevens and fifty eight. It depends on the books. My book is fifty eight and fifty nine. Your book might be fifty seven and fifty eight. And you have to do exercise B, C, and D after drafts. You know, drafts. Draft is not a um, a final one. You just do it roughly. You just prepare. It. Do it after pre preparation. So see. So you just do it in your textbook. Think about it first, just to be ready for the test. And then after you finished doing this, you are sure with the answer that you're correct. And then you go to the Google Classroom to do online tests. You may go to Google Classroom and then you will see the test like the previous lesson. You can do it. Okay, that's all for today. So I'll bring you today lessons. Today we have learned some new words related to football such as sprint, match, regulation. We have learned a lot of words today. And we have success. Sorry, we have guessed the true false statement. Yeah, we, 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 we did guess that. And that is all for today. Yeah. So make sure this is the, the most important part that you had to remember and you had to do it. First, you had to go to the book to read the pages 57 and 58 or 58 and 59, depending on the books you have. And do exercise B, C, and D as the draft, as the first draft. I mean that as a preparation and go to Google Classroom to do online tests. Don't forget this one. And I will tell you the deadline for the test later. 
So I think that's all for now. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's all for now. Thank you so much for today, and hope you doing you are you are all doing well, and see you in the next lesson.